Welcome back, Ogaholics. Do our eyes deceive? It's not a retail box. It's a mail order elite. So, uh, we got our August's MTB Elite now in red. So I guess retail red has spread. So stay right tuned. We're going to open up our monthly mystery tackle box mail order package, uh, the Elite box for August. MTB has changed their colors yet again. So they went from like a standard beige to like gray elite box, then they went to our green elite boxes, and now they're going with red. Uh, I did open this already because, as you can see, uh, the package was pretty banged up and dinged up. Normally I don't. Obviously, I like to open these up uh, firsthand and let you see uh, with me what comes out of it. But this time, because the package arrived so late, it didn't show up till 8 p.m. Uh, 8.30 p.m. actually, last night, uh, and with the damage on the side, I didn't know if, uh, if it was all intact, so I did actually uh, crack into it a little ahead of time, but that being said, I didn't really peruse everything, I just made sure that the brands were in there and the number of items were in there. So we're going to see what we got in our August MTB Elite, uh, let you see in there, everything was inside, let me find the card. So we got two, four, six, eight items in our August Elite MTB. So you got a little pause right there if you want to see it. As always, I'm going to leave the timestamps for each and every bait as I go down. So if you look down in the, uh, in the uh, drop-down menu, uh, when you hit that little arrow button uh, to expand it, you can see each name of the bait. And then if you want to click right on that timestamp, it'll jump right to the bait opening and uh, and what I show you and what, if anything, I can explain about that bait. First up, for $19.99, the high ticket item for this box and where you're going to get the majority of your uh, purchase value, uh, we have a 1-3 Fishings uh, Spin Walker. So this is a really cool bait. It's this top water uh, walking sort of bait but it, it adds the combinations of a walking bait and a buzz bait or a prop spy bait. Um, so it's called the Spin Walker. This is their 108 Spin Walker. It is in, let's see what color this is. This is Albino Rhino. <laughs> so it's four and a quarter inches long. It weighs two thirds of an ounce. It has number two hooks. And uh, as you can see, it's this just little walking popper bait, well, four and three-quarter inch popping bait, um, cool little eyes, red gills, but it adds this little metal clacker on the top and a, a buzz bait twin blade in the middle. So as you're, as you're scooting this along, you can walk it, obviously, but as you're buzzing it across the surface, it's also going to spin this buzz bait and, and at the same time hit that little metallic clacker right there at the uh, at the top there. So it's going to cause flash, it's going to cause vibration and noise. Uh, other than that, it is a, well, that's, that's the metal inside moving, but it's a silent otherwise bait, except for the clack of that buzzer going along. Um, nice sharp hooks. Excellent bait. $19? I don't know about that. I don't know about that. I would like to go with the old-fashioned head and spook or any other kind of, like, you know, walking prop bait. Um, I mean, they're all trying to compete with the Whopper Plopper, so this is 1-3 Fishing's kind of rendition of the Whopper Plopper without stepping on the toes of those uh, patents and tra trademarks. Um, all in all, really cool, not something I would personally go to the store, see on the shelf, and pick up, but hey, I'm not going to knock it. I, I like it. I'm looking forward to seeing how, uh, how it'll fish overall. It's a neat little design, something different. Again, albino rhino. Um, I don't know. The hooks are pretty cool. It, uh, yeah, 
Metallic prop and clacker provides enhanced noise and vibration. Uh, it's got the VMC hooks on it, so that's why they're super sh sharp. And uh, the 3D holographic HDIs. Not bad. Again, a little pricey, overpriced um, for a simple walking bait. Uh, who knows? Next up, Excite Baits XB1. So we've got ourselves a little square bill. I, I think I have a few of these. Uh, this is in the uh, blushing shad color, which is that silvery, purple, ghosty kind of color. Um, this one is got the weight transfer system in it. It's a two to five foot, three eighths ounce diver. And you can hear that heavy thud, one knocker in there. Uh, W2TS. So basically the weight transfer is going to give you that, uh, that, that thud. And the cool thing is, uh, the weight transfer system is tungsten. So that's pretty cool. So you're paying a little bit of a premium on this. $8.49 for the Excite Baits XB1. Um, not bad, good square bill, love the color. Next up, Phoenix Baits Shoremaster Spin Bait. So, now this is not, um, I don't believe this is a company I'm very familiar with, Phoenix Lure and Bait Company. Uh, so it's a 3 8 ounce spinner bait in silver minnow color, is what they call it, not bad staple to the cardboard packaging. Let's see if I can't pull it out of the old zippy lock here. Pop off the staple without stapling my finger. Alright, so. Not a bad skirt. You've got a small willow and a larger willow leaf. Uh, cool little bead there for some extra flash. I do like the transparency underneath here with the green pumpkin and black speckles on the skirt pretty cool uh let's see jacked up on the skirt here let's pull this out get it straight away all right not hand tied just around the rubber band pull it out straight there we go all righty pretty cool cool keeled head there Nice, nice. Very narrow head, almost like an arrowhead uh, style bait. So that's pretty cool. Again, it doesn't have that closed in eye, so I'll just throw a little heat shrink around there, poke it through with a hook, and uh, tie on that way so I don't have to worry about the line riding down here and uh, fishing it without the proper action. Not bad. Three eighths. Like I said, I'm not really uh, accustomed to the Phoenix Lure and Bait Company. If any of you have heard of it, uh, drop comment down below. What do you think of uh, Phoenix brand uh, lures? What kind of lures do they sell? This is the first time I've ever, I think, seen this. So, 3D bubble eye. Eh, okay, it's, it's an eye. <laughs> Alright, stainless steel wire, which is good, and it's uh, got a 4 aught Gamagatsu hook. So, 4 aught Gamagatsu, everybody loves Gamagatsu. I love Gamagatsu. Not bad. Uh, the Phoenix spinner bait, they, they retail this at $8.00. Boy, how prices have gone sky high. Next. Oh, here we go. Something different. Uh, hook Defender's Lure Wrap. Now, this is something I don't have, but I actually should have. Especially for my larger treble hook baits. Um, this is one of those little bait wrap sacks. So, you just wrap, put your bait inside. Velcro's on three ends. You slip your bait inside. And then you zap this around the bait and your rod, and it keeps your treble hooks from getting caught up on all kinds of things, especially in your rod locker and your car, because uh, if you have uh, fabric car seats or leather car seats, you don't want your treble hooks getting stuck in your car seat. Uh, and, of course, you know this is an MTB thing because, look, my nemesis there, the old rattle bot, is sitting there as, they, uh, as their display item. Not bad. Um, so hook defender... Uh, by well, Defender Lure Wraps, $7.50. Uh, this is worth it. If, if this saves you bending out your hooks, uh, breaking something, or getting it stuck in either you know, your, your, head re your headrest of your car or something else, or even just you know, grabbing a rod and having this around one of your, your, your baits um, to prevent you from grabbing the treble hooks, $7.50 is worth it. Uh, I love seeing these things out there. I just, I've never pulled the trigger and got any for myself. And I do have a few large swim baits. This isn't quite big enough for some of the larger swim baits that I do use. 
but uh, certainly for a medium-sized bait, this is a great little sack. Uh, I'm definitely going to see some use out of that. 750, not bad. Uh, four to go. Bondi Baits Company, the Bondi Worm for six dollars. So, Bondi fish food, not people food. Uh, this is a Canadian bait company. So we got these little tiny finesse, uh, you know, drop shot, Nico rig, nose hooks, kind of little worms. What color they got. Bondi Worm 15 pack in walleye. So they call it walleye. So it's a gold tone plastisol with black and white uh, little spherical speckles in there. It's not, not the glitter. Well, there's gold glitter. Then there's these black... Okay, there are black glitter, but there's a little, like, speckles. It's almost spherical in there. Anyway, not bad. Kind of like it. It's got the uh, flat-sided paddle-y kind of tail. Definitely something I think would work on a drop shot. Um, certainly on a Ned head, that little tail flicking up there, and especially with a flat-sided paddle tail on the current, it's definitely going to continue major action. That's pretty cool. And that's a different color than I've used to. I'm not, I don't have a whole lot of gold tone soft plastics, um, and I like the, the combination of the gold, the white, and the black. It's not just gold and black or gold and green. It's got that little white in there, which is definitely salt and pepper poppy. I like that. They sell these from Bondi for $6. I don't know, I mean, I'm not harping on anything, but I just think these price evaluations are a little bit padded. I don't, I just don't see, 15 or not, I don't see this being a $6 bait. I don't see um, the spinner bait, the, the Phoenix baits being an $8 spinner bait. Um, that being said, again, these are two companies I've never heard of personally, so I don't know. But if you if you have any uh, any understanding of these companies, please drop a comment share your experiences with them. Um, tell me what I'm missing out on. Samantis Baits, next up, for $4.99. This is a company I do get a lot. Uh, Samantis Baits Swim Mantis. So we have tons of these. Uh, I have them in a lot of my giveaways because I have tons of these. So this is their paddle tail. Almost a hard tail, not quite a hard tail. Uh, swim bait. Um, I love them. I work these uh, weightless on a small hook. Uh, you can also use these as trailers for things. They do have a groove on the top and a slot on the bottom for your hook. And they are very jelly. I mean, they do, they twitch like crazy. Uh, green pumpkin color, but it's not listed, so I'm going to have to say it's Golden Crawl. Just out of sure, sure ha happenstance and, and uh, tradition. But uh, it's, it's a great, great bait. Again, great for trailers. Uh, great just um, rigged on, a, on like a one-aught, uh, you know, swim bait hook. Awesome. Awesome bait. $4.99. Two to go. Castaic Flutters Magic Spoon. Castaic. So Castaic, a two and a quarter inch spoon. <clears throat> they don't have a weight on it. Typical spoon. I love spoons. I used to fish them uh, for saltwater a lot. I haven't really been fishing them in the freshwater that much. That obviously will change once the, the boat's all ready to go because then I'll be able to go out a little bit closer to some of the deep water areas and, uh, and flutter it down. As a shore angler, spoons just are never, in my opinion, never your friend. Uh, they, they basically, for me, a spoon shines when you can rip it up and have it flutter down. Rip it up and have it flutter down in a vertical uh, water column action. Uh, trying to fling it out in the in, in you know to distance and then bring it back to you. If you're not keeping their rod really high to keep it up and suspended, it's gonna fall down and it's gonna catch and snag on every single thing you go because you have these massive uh, exposed trebles with no weed guard at all. So I watch out for spoons when you're a bank angler, but they are at, they're just phenomenal if you can fish off of a dock, a vertical pier, uh, off rocks. Off, you know, off of, um, a rock ledge or um, a bulkheading or anything like that out in the ocean, and certainly off the boat. Last, not least, Daiichi. Uh, Daiichi's world's sharpest hooks. Three odd MTB, uh, just your standard wide gap hooks. You get a red one, and you get a standard, uh, you know, powder coat black, or I call it metallic black chrome color. Um, just wide gap hooks, two pack, 
for one dollar eighty cents. Three ninety nine for the for the spoon, dollar eighty for the Daiichi hooks, four ninety nine for the swim at us, uh, some at us swim at us. Six dollars for the Bondi worms, uh, seven fifty for that lure wrap, Velcro lure wrap. Eight dollars for the Phoenix bait spinner bait, eight forty nine for the Excite baits square bill, and nineteen ninety nine for that thirteen fishing uh, the walking bait. So uh, you tell me, do you think this was a value box? I, you know, full disclosure, I think that this August box, the prices are extremely padded. Um, just out of my own head, like the 13 Fishing Walker, I, I think maybe that's a $12 bait. The Excite Bait Square Bill, $5.99. Uh, the, the, the Spinner Bait, not $8. Maybe $3.75, maybe $4. Um, the Hook Defender Lure Wrap, $7.50. I'll give you that. I know they're a high price item, even though they're not worth it uh, material-wise. The Bondi's Worms, six dollars. Nah, three, three fifty. Uh, the Samantha Swim at us. I've got them before, four ninety-nine. Yeah, but I still think they're like a two ninety-nine, three dollar bait. Uh, the Flutter Spoon, three ninety-nine. And here nor there with that. Daiichi hooks, a dollar eighty. I know they're they're overpriced. Uh, you know, there's some YouTubers that will only fish Daiichi. I'll fish any hook because anything will catch a fish. Uh, but that being said, you tell me, what do you think? Do you think it was worth the value, or do you think maybe maybe you're closer in tune with my assessments and price? And also, what do you think about them, yet again, changing the color of their mail-order elites to be the same color box as their retail elite boxes? So uh, we have to open this bad boy up in another video. This is 162. But... Uh, it's just interesting how they've they've paired up the elites now, uh, mail order or retail. I'm wondering if you think maybe this is some sort of a marketing ploy to confuse people, because I see a lot recently YouTubers pushing these and not realizing these are not your monthly subscription elite box. The retail box is not the same thing as your mail order box. These are, you know, randomized for each consumer via the mail. These are semi-randomized, uh, but mass-produced as a consumer product on a store shelf. It's not the same. If you want to join the monthly, you're getting that. If you want not to join the monthly, you're going to end up paying slightly more in the long run via, if you go for the 12-month program, it's a way reduced price uh, for the 12-month subscription over going to the store and and buying the uh, the retail versions. So that all being said, again, the two uh, companies that I've never heard of or have no actual uh, you know history with, um, tell me what you think about those. What do you think about them changing the colors now to red from gray, which I love that gunmetal gray box. Then they went to the green, which is like eh, and now this red. So maybe they'll go blue next time. Who knows? Um, as always, for me to you. Thank you for paying uh, enough attention to stay with me and, and join me on this little chit-chat. I always am ha happy and, uh, and grateful for you all to uh, spend a little time for me. Again, congratulations to Stefan for winning our Christmas in July. He sent me a few pictures. Um, I might just pop them up right about here right now. <laughs> he sent me a few photos of the, of the opening. He's, he's happy, I'm happy, and he's going to share a lot of the baits like I asked uh, with friends and family and people around that uh, can use them for the things that he doesn't necessarily want to use. So, as always, stay tuned, and uh, I'll catch you guys on the next cast. Peace, Hookaholics.